everyone, it's Pokedon Insider here. Welcome to our educational video series. And today we walk into how to use the Pokedot JS extension. In this video, the community can explore full potential use cases of the Pokedot JS in a very simple way. Let's check it out. Pokedot JS is a wallet used to store the assets of the users on Pokedot network. Pokedot JS wallet has been designed as an extension for two main browsers, Chrome and Firefox. In addition, Pokedot.js Wallet integrates many other networks such as Polkadot, Qsima, Akala, Astar Network, etc. First, visit a link that you can find below the description. After going to the website, we'll choose Polkadot.js org extension. We'll be redirected to the download page of Polkadot.js. Here there will be two options to download, Chrome and Firefox. Here we choose Chrome, so we'll choose Download for Chrome. Select Add to Chrome, then Add Extension. And that's it. We have installed Polkadot.js. Please click on the jigsaw icon and then pin it for convenience when using. And now we create an account on Polkadot.js. We click on the icon of Polkadot.js and then read the terms carefully. If we agree, then click Understood. Let me continue. The window that appears like this means we don't have any accounts yet. And now click the plus sign to create an account. Polkadot.js will send us 12 characters. This will be a string of characters that will help us get our account back in case we forget our password. Memorize our seed phrase offline and try not to save it on our electronic devices that potentially impact our access. And after storing them, please check the box I have saved my mnemonic seed safety and then click next step. They will then name the account and password. Wow, with just a few simple steps, we have successfully created a Polkadot.js account. Here, we can click on this icon to copy our wallet address, or we can also click on the avatar to copy. We can also rename our account by clicking Rename. There's a good point about Polkadot.js that we can create other accounts in the same original account. Click Derive New Account, and then enter a shared password to create a password for a new account. On Polkadot.js, we can also change other networks by selecting Allow Use on Any Chain. We can exchange all chains on Polkadot. When we choose any chain, automatically our wallet address will change according to our own chain activities. There is a nice feature. We can export our wallet address to a file by selecting Export Account. But we'll talk about this use at the end of the video. If we do not want to keep a certain wallet, we can also easily delete it by selecting Forgot Account. Click the plus icon to get more features. We can export the same file while we select Export All Accounts. When we want to use a wallet for another device, we get it back using the 12 characters that Polkadot.js provided. Another way for us to get back the account is by attaching the file we exported earlier, which is used when we export the account. A very cool feature, but we still suggest saving the seed phrase offline. Alternatively, we can link Ledger Wallet with Polkadot.js by clicking Connect Ledger Device. And when clicking on the cog icon, there are additional features such as choose a theme, light or dark, change other chains, you can optionally change the language, select the message display. And in the Managed Website Access section, we're going to see the websites that we're allowed to use the Polkadot.js Wallet on. And there's a video about how to use Polkadot.js extension. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to Pokemon Insider for more insightful videos. Bye, see you next time.